I guess I must have needed a rest. Hey everyone, Draco Magnus here for another episode of Let's Play Lone Survivor The Director's Cut. In the last episode, we met Hank, got some supplies, and in this episode... Actually, wait, I should probably do my morning ritual. And as I do that in this episode, we're going to turn some stuff in to our friend the director. Green grape. Not as good as the other kind. Um, I'll make my coffee now. It's coffee time. And this time I have my timer set, so this one won't be 30 minutes long. In theory. Double espresso for me. I'm looking forward to this. Forever the time it takes to brew the first pot of coffee in the morning. All right, and we have a new thing to add to our ritual. Since we have three batteries, let us play our ESP. Okay, I'll play for a few hours. It's definitely worth the battery. As playing your ESP increases your sanity, as long as you don't use your last battery to do so, and you only play it once per day. Hey, look at that cow. I don't get what's up with these faces. Now, where was that cow again? I could do without the blinding light. Okay, so that's my coffee, my fruity drop. And... My one bit of game jewel, or I mean ESP. Good. I have everything full. Now let's see if Chuck needs any water while we're going out. Might as well, right? Hello, Chuck. Guess not. Okay. Oh, right. Go on. Move on, Type 1 Thin Man. Just move on. If I remember correctly, the director, yeah, the director didn't have anything new for us, but it doesn't hurt to actually talk to him, does it? You know, just say hi and make sure that he didn't have anything. I don't have anything for y'all this time. Best be coming back later. See you later. Keep your chin up, kid. All right. But anyway, actually, do I want to give him the ammo first or the sleepy cats? I'll give him the cat comics first, because there's less of them. I've got one of those cat comics you asked for. You're still looking for them. Thank you kindly, son. Take this tin of cat food in return. Could be it helps you some. Er, great. Okay, now I'm going to cut this here and give him the rest of the comics and the rest of my flares. Okay, and now I have 18 flares after trading in all 50 of those bullets. Still think you should give me more flares for my 10 shells. I mean, I'm not asking for 10 flares for 10 shells, but I mean at least 5. Or hey, you could make it an even number, like 4. 3 just seems like such a weird number. Well, whatever. Okay, now before we move on... Let's go back to the city. Uh, I went in through that one mirror near the bottom, right? Or did I walk? Hmm. No, I don't remember. I think I'm going to have to walk all the way to the uh, hospital again. Probably. Um, well, let's check. Might as well. Not bad, considering. Where am I? Really? What am I doing here? Huh. So strange. Um, guess I'll, uh... Move forward. Wait, I don't have any rotten meat. I have to go back to my room to get it. Silly me. Completely forgot to get the rotten meat. It's one of the staples. Okay. 
I have my six chunks of rotten meat. Could come in handy. Oh, who am I kidding? They will come in handy. Okay. Now that's where I'm hiding. So I guess I will place this rotten meat here. Hide in my little hidey hole. Wait for our friend the Thin Man level 3, or type 3 technically, to come get his slice of rotten meat. Come on. Come on. A little more. If you're wondering what that thing running across the ground is, that is a rat. See? Rat. And the thing about rats is you can kill them and eat them, but I wouldn't because it lowers your sanity. Well, it lowers your sanity to eat them raw. You can eat them cooked. Don't know why you would, when there's all sorts of other interesting food choices to make. Bye-bye. Oh. Well, you know, in the Let's Play of Lone Survivor that I did before this, I never even bothered to try and sneak around them. I just always... Forced my way through with flares. Hmm. Now that I'm playing more stealthily than I did, I can see how it would be beneficial to stealth instead of use up my flares. Hello there, little one. What brings you out here? What's your name, eh? I should think up a name for you. But you look hungry. I'll see if I can find some food for you. Poor little thing. Well, we have cat food. What you're going to want to do is you're going to want to move very, very slowly toward it or it'll run. You can tell if it's going to run by the particular pose it's in. This is relaxed. That's anxious. You see it get really low to the ground. It's about to bolt. After multiple playthroughs, I have discovered this. You don't want to move when it's starting to get into a nervous position. So let's give it some of our brandy new cat food we got, since we're not going to eat it. Alright then, kitty. And like that, he was gone. Alright. Now that cat's going to appear a few more times. Um, is this the way I want to go? Yes. Do-do-do. 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 Sneak past... Alright, I am going to have to flare these guys, though. They're too close. Hey! What'd I do to you? I just dropped a flare and snuck past you. Jerks. And we want to go this way first, actually, because... Hello again, you. Found a new spot, have you? I really should think up a name for you. You still look hungry. I'll see if I can find some more food. Almost there. Don't worry, I'm not gonna hurt you. Just gonna give you some food, little friend. Here you go, little one. Isn't he cute? And he's off again. Alright. You know, we should probably make some progress before we... Nah, what the hell, let's finish the cat. Well, actually, we can't exactly finish what we do for the cat, and you'll see... Cat staring at us from out there. Well, let's hit give. I think I can see that cat outside the door. Let's see if I can tempt him inside.
Wow, it actually worked. Will you be my cat forever? I'll even give you a name. Meow. That's good enough for me, little buddy. And now we come up with a name for him. In the Let's Play of Lone Survivor, I named him Sunny. But I think I'll go with the first name here for the reference. Actually, no, he's not the right color for that reference. This name would be Itchy. Something else that which would uh, which describes you better. You're a small cat. What's that name? What name describes that? Mini? No, that's a stupid name. I can think of something better than that. That's Sunny. What name describes that? Happy? No, 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 no. I can think of something better than that. Soft and cuddly. Sleepy. So, so we would have Sleepy Cat. No, no, no. Just out of principle thing. No. And then it starts over. Okay, so the names are Itchy, Sunny, Mini, and Happy, and Sleepy. I'm just going to name it Sunny again. That's the perfect name for you. Well, Sonny, I'm ple very pleased to meet you. My name is... Well, I'm just the guy who looks after you. That's all you need to worry about, eh, Sonny? Oh, you need to eat? Okay, that's fine. Let me, uh... See. We have that tin of beans. The prawn crackers. I'll eat the prawn crackers. Mmm, crispy. Let's talk to Sunny. Hi there. And let's give it a him or her. I, you can't really tell the gender. Let's give Sunny this last bit of cat food. There's one more tin we can get because there's one more Sleepy Cat comic. And then we will have gotten all of the Sleepy Cat comics, all of the cat foods, and then we'll be able to give try and give Sunny our Sleepy Cat. Which is why give, naming him Sleepy would be really, really dumb. And now we can pet Sunny. My little friend. And petting Sunny will actually increase your sanity. So pet him as much as possible. Good boy. Oh, it's a boy. Well then. I will start calling you a him. My little friend. And now let's just talk to Sunny. How's it going? Man, I know what you mean. Should I have him go to sleep? Yeah, probably soon. I should do that. Hey! Want a flare? How about you? Flares for everyone! Come on! Fine. Waste all three. Super flat world. I used the super flat. I uh, used the SW world key. Might as well get rid of it now. Uh, it's dark in here. There we go. That's better. I can see. It's a game about a guy with a triangle head. Looks kind of depressing. Oh yeah, the last sleepy cat comic. I got a sleepy cat comic. These are my favorite. It's a ghost story of some kind. The... Sorry, I couldn't resist. I had to dance. This game about reaching enlightenment. Oh, that makes me sad. <clears throat> it's a game about a wizard. This is a new one. This game was in here in Lone Survivor. Oh, you're hungry? Okay. We'll look at that game after he eats... Uh... Yeah, I'll give him this fruit salad. Been waiting for this. It's delicious. NG Plus? NG Plus. Oh, New Game Plus. It's a game about knights. Really? Some kind of MMORPG, I think. 
That's all he says. And then there's at the end. Let me shut off my flashlight because it's late enough here. It's just another game about zombies. I'm more interested about NG+. It's a brawler. Hmm. Well, I guess just move on now. Question mark? Oh, hello, white-faced man. How have you been doing this fine, dark day? Hello again. Alright then. Say what it is you want to say. I'm tired of all this creeping around. I have no information for you. I can tell you this, though. You're getting to the heart of matters. Goodbye. That breathing is creeping me out. Ooh, ammo. I have some more training to do with our friend, the director. And I can't get that way. I'll take that tin of rice pudding. Oh, I really shouldn't have done Ooh, distress flare. Is that everything in this way? Yep. Gonna move, gonna move, gonna move, gonna move, gonna move. And safe. Oh. Um, can I sneak past you? Ooh, yeah, I can. Excellent. Don't mind me just sneaking past. Sneaking past. Ah, crap. Ta! Crab Shack. Uh, soda? Health tonic. How many health tonics does that make? Uh, let me pause this for a quick second. Because yes, by pressing B you can pause. Uh, that would be four health tonics. I'm marking it on a sheet of paper so I know when I can give him Sleepy Cat, Hank. Um, hang on. I want to check something. Okay, so we have the one health tonic to give to Hank. We have the 10 ammo and the one Sleepy Cat comic. Is it really worth going back now? Mmm, we'll wait. Oh, hey, fruit salad. I can make another hot and fruity sal uh, hot and fruity rice pudding. Have a flare. It's closed. Don't think I can get in there. Shut tightly and lock. No way. Get I'll get in there. Oh, hello. Oh, look, another can of soda. Is there anything else back here? No? Alright, let's go this way then. Uh. Hmm. Wow. Already did all that. Strange. It's like the building feels out of place here. Does he say anything else? Nope, just that. Okay, let's move on. More ammo. And the final health tonic. Superb. Alright, just... Whoops, clicked too many times. Just give me a moment. I need to make some marks. Excellent. Yeah, I'm sorry I'm doing this on camera, but I figured I'd do it now. So I could be 100% sure I can get... I'm gonna get this ending. I don't want to screw anything up. Know what I mean? Okay. And that is exactly 20 minutes, but I'm not going to end here. Okay. Doesn't seem to have anything behind it. Was this done by an explosion? Looks more like a battle took place. Something about it creeps me out. Is this the work of the survivors? The lone survivors? Ah, uh, that was terrible. I apologize. It's some kind of bus. Seems to have crashed here. Well, I might as well take a look inside. There's a mirror behind this, which is why I'm doing this. Oh, wait, why'd I go here? That was stupid of me. Alright, I want these wire cutters. Oh, wait, that was stupid. I want the crowbar first. Now here's a use for a crowbar if I ever saw one. Okay, I got it open. Cut. Okay, I'll snip the wires. So far, so good. And lastly, but certainly not least, the car battery. Okay, I'll attach the battery. 
Alright, that got the electrics back on. Ah, oh, it's working now. Mirror! I've seen worse. Ugh. Yeah, I've seen worse too, that blinding light. Alright, first let's go to Hank, give him the health sonics he needs. And, you know, ask him after each one how he's doing, because I want to be sure he's doing good, you know? Care about this guy. Hank? Alright, I'm letting you in. Thanks. Don't worry, Hank. We're making you better, man. Trust me. I got your back. Not gonna let anything bad happen to you. Hank? Found some medicine that might work. You wanna try and set pills? Oh, wait, why am I reading this part? We've already read this fully. Thanks, bro. Let me give you a clip in return. You get some rest now, okay? What's the latest, Hank? I'm d definitely feeling much better, thanks. Soon you'll be up and running around. Alright. And the last health tonic. Hank? I found some medicine that might work. Do you want to try it instead of the pills? Guess it might be good for me. That'll have any effect. But I appreciate you doing this for me, man. I appreciate it. Take this clip for your time, man. Well, get through this, man. Oh, we'll get through this, man. And now let's ask him how he's doing. How's it going, Hank? Much better, thanks to you, dude. Stay strong, Hank. And now, for the ultimate question. Well, not ultimate, um, Hank. Uh, yeah? Well, I was wondering if you wanted this cat plush. His name's Sleepy Cat. I think he's asleep now, actually. Right now, actually. That often... Uh, that's often a good sign. Man, that's so kind of you. And I would take him off you, I really would. Only, I can see how much he means to you. In fact, let me give you something for helping me out. Oh my goodness! A burger bun? Yeah! How can I thank you enough, my friend? It's nothing. Think of it as a going away present. Well, I mean it. Thanks, Hank. My pleasure, bro. Alright, now we have the things we need for our delightful burger. But before we move anywhere, we're going to give our friend the director what he needs. I'm gonna give him his Sleepy Cat comic. Then we're gonna give him the ammo so we get more flares. And then we're gonna give Sunny here his food. How are you doing, Hank? Er, Chuck. Sorry. Chuck. Is Chuckness. Ah, oh, good. Healthy. I'd like to hear that about my plant. Things are really looking up, guys. Sure, the world's still filled with monsters, but we found some good friends. We have the ingredients needed for the ultimate burger. That's going to increase our sanity a massive amount. Probably pushing us over the edge to get the saint, the uh, white ending. And I think our friend the director here has something for us as well at this point. Oh, you need food. Um, we'll deal with your need for food soon. But first... Uh, wait, why am I here? I need to go to the cat comics. I've got one of those cat comics you asked for. If you're still looking for them. Thank you kindly, son. Take this old tin of cat food. Could be it helps you some. Uh, yeah. I'm sure it, I can. Alright, now. I'm gonna cut this here. Why did I do that? And I'm going to give him my ammo. Oh, I found this and thought of you. Uh, found this and thought of you. Wow, a delicious ham. Where did you get this? I can't believe it's in such good condition. Thank you so much. Well, I won't be doing to go hungry. Gotta keep that mind in tip-top shape, you know. Thanks. 
I don't know what to say. You're welcome. Just doing my part. Listen, I'll be straight with you. Well, you may not see me around these parts again. I'm planning my escape, see? I'm gonna try and bust out of this city. Too dangerous to take me with uh, take you with me. What do you mean? You think it's any safer out there? How far does the city even go? Do you know? Can't be sure of anything, son. Sure as no one can. But I can't stay here no longer. Gotta get out or die trying. I know I said we're all in this together. But I gotta go it alone this time, kid. If I get any... I, now, if I get to safety, I'll send word, don't you worry. You know, you're probably right. I just slow you down. Well, good luck out there. I'll keep my ear on the radio. And good luck. Thanks, son. I'll need it. Catch you later, then. Hey, everything has a way of working out. You know? I need some food. Way to random way to make that really random. Okay, uh, no, not not the pickles. Uh, I don't want to give him any food just yet because I want to make all this stuff we can make. Uh, but let's finish giving him the ammo. Okay, twenty-five flares. Now we're gonna. Since I have twenty-five flares, I'm just gonna spam them and move as fast as I can to make him some food. We're saving that ultimate burger. I'm hungry. I, I know you're hungry. And tell you what, we're gonna go and we're gonna deal with that problem of yours. You know what? I'm gonna make him his ultimate burger first. Just the kind of guy I am. If we're gonna do this, we're gonna do this in style, ladies and gentlemen. Okay. So, to cook our ultimate burger... First, obviously, we need to cook our burger patty. Let's see if this works. Let me get my uh, sheet, which tells me how things are made. I got the grilled burger patty. You can technically make the ultimate burger without cooking the patty, but it'll work better if you cook it, obviously. Okay. It's been done perfectly. Browned edge, crimson core, delicious. Okay, now... Let us combine this bun with our grilled burger. Okay, let's see what happens. The hamburger. A perfect coming together of two food items. Alright. Both hopelessly in love with each other. Burger and bun. Man and woman. Light and dark. Day and night. Black and white. Anyway, I need to eat something. Don't worry. Now let's combine this. I believe the next one on our list is lettuce. Yep. Lettuce. Okay, let's see what happens. Wow, I've created a dressed burger. This may be the greatest thing I ever created. I'm going to find it hard not to eat this right away. Alright. Next. Sliced cheese, is that correct? Yep, sliced cheese. And then we go for the last ingredient, the tin of pickles. Okay, let's see what happens. Wow, I've created a dressed cheeseburger. This is without a doubt the greatest meal I've ever seen. I'm going to find it hard not to eat this right away. Okay. Now, the very last thing. Where's the tin of pickles? Tin of pickles. Okay, let's see what happens. Wow, I've created the ultimate cheeseburger. This is it. The one I've been waiting for. I'm going to devour this sucker. This is the best meal I've had since the outbreak began. Okay, here it goes. I think I'm going to cry. So tender in the middle, yet so meaty. And that pickle, so sour. I could eat four more, if only. I may never even see another burger. And definitely not a not, not one in this perfect. Thank you, God of Foods. Okay. Now that that delightful bit has been done, let us cook this rice pudding. I'm going to do some cooking, and then I think we'll end this episode. Actually, no. We'll do one last thing. But I'm probably going to cut this out, since you've already all seen 
everything we make here? Excellent. All right, ladies and gentlemen, now we are ready. Let us give... Uh, I named it Sunny again, right? Right. Let us give Sunny the final cat food. Here you go, little one. Okay, now, even though this seems ridiculous, hey, Sonny, you know, I know this is going to sound kind of strange, but, but I'd really like to give you this cat plush, I think. No, it's cool. I totally get it. You think I need it more than you do. I like how well Sunny and Su Surgeon Snake get each other. It's nice. But you want to give me a key? And you already put it in my backpack? How did you manage that? I'd like to know that. You never cease to amaze me, little fella. No way! I got the cat key. It's even shaped like a paw. You're the best, Sunny. Okay. It's a cat key. That'll be used somewhere, I'm sure, Ob obviously. They're not just going to give us a useless item. That would be stupid. Um, anything else I want to do? No, I think that's it. But with that, I think we'll end this episode here. So the next episode of Let's Play Lone Survivor, the Director's Cut, will hopefully be ending the game and fighting the most annoying boss of all time. Actually, that's not true. Forgot the uh, Queen Grotesquerie. Okay, the second most annoying boss of all time. Well, n never mind. See you guys then.